before we start, uh, we'd like to do a shout out for, um, uh, sorry, timing is everything. Uh, <laughs> Yehu Sa- Satori, thank you for the comment for for the the the, the piece as well. Yeah, uh, shit, I don't have it written down. Trying to remember what he um, wrote real quick, or um, I can go ahead. Go ahead. Um, I think because we were mentioning the uh, the royal selection last week, yeah, that was it. We were mentioning royal selection, and wondering why yeah. that was important, and he was just bringing up that like it was mentioned again in like part one somewhere. So, well, yeah, um, it, it was basically like uh, just reminding that the royal selection is important to Amelia because uh, Roswell promised to Amelia that. That she can melt the ice on the Elier Forest, and if Amelia mm-hmm. wins the royal selection with the Dragon Blood, I don't really remember the Dragon Blood part though, sadly. Um, but then I think he also it's the, because because they're talking about it's like it's like the, the threat from the dragon, the lore, right? I think that's like they have, I think that's like the big threat they have to face. So I think that ties into royal selection, but I forgot that part too. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. we basically forgot a lot of stuff, and he even uh, even so... uh, uh, Yahoo mentions that yeah it, it definitely helps to watch it again <laughs> so. well like i watched the director's cut and even there's still like some parts i'm forgetting so yeah i mean there's so much going on and with you know how many shows we're all watching i think for the viewers like thank you guys so much for keeping us all on top of our games you oh know? yeah it's, it's explicitly, like, too. yeah that's what i was just gonna say like you know you're giving us insight without spoiling which we which really appreciate. awesome thank you yeah. we know that like that's actually a really difficult thing to kind of come by as well considering it's the internet oh. as well and, uh, I mean, I think me and Taylor yeah. know that a lot with the tag on Titan <laughs> for our I'm, shows. So. I'm sure it'll happen at some point, but thank you guys for not doing it. Yeah. yeah. Keep it up. Shout out to you guys. You the MVP. You the real MVP. <laughs> yes. So uh, this episode, uh, I don't know, just more, a lot of focus on Roswell. It's like, I, really don't, I still don't really care about this character, so I don't like feeling sympathy towards the guy at all. Whoa, whoa, know. whoa. This guy has suffered for 400 years. Yeah, just sipping for it for his, for his, his first bitch. kiss. His he first love his waifu fire. for so long. <laughs> Honestly, he failed to protect. It's like, it's kind of like uh, Juice and uh, Fortuna, right? Mm-hmm. Like, he was he was doing his best to protect her, but he failed and she died. Uh, however, for uh, for Subaru, that that hasn't happened to him yet, so I don't know if that were to be the case. Would Subaru kind of follow the same path and go towards like madness and? And like whatever. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, I, didn't, yeah, I, didn't, yeah. I didn't think about that, but you're you're totally right. Yeah. So like I don't really blame the guy at all. And like I said, when it's I don't they didn't really specify the relationship that they had, but I'm assuming like that's when a kidna died. And mm-hmm. I don't know. It looks like we have a, a brand new witch or warlock here. So that's probably why. Uh, the, yeah, the, the demon of melancholy. Melancholy. Yeah. But is yeah. He, I, like it's so weird that because they say witches, so I assume it has to be like just a witch but like yeah but like no, it's a male i don't witch, know like if he's is he like so is he, is he is he equivalent then to a witch like he has the same powers or is he like like yeah. one of the uh apostles or yeah that's what i was gonna ask like, he, there's so many terms you have now of like the the archbishops the witches the counts the yeah. you know the dukes the <laughs> i'm hoping Dude, it doesn't you know so continue to, to convolute things like like because right um <laughs> last last time like cornelius whatever like he was he's supposed to be like well, Archbishop of Greed, but he's following right. Pandora, who's the Witch of Vanity. So, are they all in the same church, or, or well, I don't like, I don't know. Like, Dude, it's so much stuff. Like, they're introducing so many more characters. Like, again, like the main kind of complaint, they're just they keep branching out more and more, uh, and it, without like actually wrapping anything I, up. And it's I, just I, they're I spreading that, too uh, much. The, mel- the melancholy guy was unnecessary this episode, just because like, <laughs> like we barely know about Cornelius from last time, and so. Yeah, I think with this episode, like, with the, the, you know, ongoing threat, even if they left it as vague and still had all of the events of Ryuzu and kind of her sacrificing herself to finish the barrier, like, that would have been completely fine. Mm. But yeah, specifically with your point, Threat, and, like, they continue to introduce all these new plot lines, and week after week, we're kind of just like, we want to focus on the plot lines we have. Like, yeah. we want to close some of the plot lines. Like, <laughs> right. this is too many. Like, you know, I got to have my own separate Word doc to keep this shit all straight. So. <laughs> that, Reddit, and then also YouTube videos. Basically everything. It's wild. God. It's like it's like the author became a fan of Oprah. It's like, you get a plot, you get a plot, <laughs> yeah, everybody right? gets a plot. Like, we are getting plots nonstop, and we are not closing any of them. We're just yeah. adding on more backstory to this. Oh. Yeah. Obviously, the bigger picture is at play, and you know, it will hopefully all come together. But damn tough, man. Yeah, 
I don't really have much to say about this show. I, I don't. Like, it's it's getting tougher it's, for me to follow. I think in this episode, like, I mean, it was just lacking compared to the other flashbacks because yeah, it didn't have much of an impact. Like Amelia's backstory had so much impact to like the lore, whereas this one is just like more, just like more character for Roswell and I guess Beatrice and Ryuzu, but like so not as good. So yeah, oh, like, I, I would I, I would say it's I would say it's as good probably because its backstory is focused on. Like the supporting cast, not the main mm-hmm. cast, right? But it's, bad it's, as Im- it's as important, though. Like, we get yeah. to see why Beatrice is the way she is. Roswell. We get to see why Roswell's the way he is. We get to see a new character. I mean, obviously, we don't want more characters, but no. we got another <laughs> warlock, right? That's of that's even stronger than the Kidna. So, like, it's 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 getting pretty intense. But yeah, like to your point, this this plot is getting so convoluted. There's so many things you have to keep focus of that. It's it's just overwhelming at this point. Yeah. Oh, one thing I did remember too is like they're also it's like saying um, making the sanctuary. So it was also part of how Ryuzu became the, the barrier right. for the sanctuary. But it's like they didn't, they still didn't really like explain much about what the what this the sanctuary, sanctuary is. Like, is, it supposed, <laughs> is it like supposed to just protect from like the outside world? Then like I guess if these, <laughs> no, yeah, these it's, half- it's, humans, that's, like, that's like, what I took it as. Yeah, yeah it's like, just like halflings, mixed creature, like. Uh, people of mixed blood, right? This is yeah, be a safe yeah. place for them. They don't have a place like, in the current right. world. Right, and it was like it was like 400 years ago, so I guess like it's been established for a long time in the present. So it's like, I I already forget like why are we trying to get rid of the sanctuary in the first place? So it's been it's up so here the, for this long. It's, it's so the people can leave. I think it's it was it was part of the requirements for for uh for the people that's there like Garfield to let mm-hmm. the villagers leave. It's not like pretty much yeah. It's like just they're stuck. Yeah. They can't actually get out of the barrier. They're right. safe. They just can't go anywhere. Right. right. I guess yeah. But like I said, it's getting very convoluted. There's a lot of things you got to remember. I mean, instead of solving a like solving a case or like closing closing an arc, like you're just adding more and more uh, workload for Subaru mm-hmm. to kind of like clear yeah. out. So see again, so see for me, it's like the witches and like and Satelia and all that plot around her, and like that's what I care about the most. So like a lot of things that just outside of that, I really like. I'm struggling to follow because like it's not to me as interest. That's the main. The main yeah. lore. I mean, it's definitely yeah. nice to get you know characters' motivations kind of ironed out, especially for you know Roswell. I'd say as we've kind of you know determined yeah. from this episode particularly. I think for me, I really enjoyed the end of the episode actually, where you have you know this ongoing face-off between Subaru <laughs> with Otto and oh. um, against Roswell, and specifically Subaru saying like roswell's biggest fixation on things is that he just thinks that everybody is weak and that's why he has you know limited faith in terms of like anything kind of disrupting his plan whereas subaru is the complete you know opposite or the yin to his yang where he Mm. really believes in the strength of people and more so the strength of amelia who roswell has labeled as this weak character so right that was something that i really enjoyed from this episode wait again again like so what was the whole point of him like sending the assassin then to the mansion to get like like what's he trying like, yeah is it cause he's uh, trying to like he's trying to aggravate <laughs> subaru and like that's yeah. part of his plan it, it, was, it was it was to get subaru to pick a side um uh, and kind of mm-hmm. force them to face like that severity of his choices right because subaru wants to be able to do everything okay. and save everyone save everyone yep right and then uh ros was like you're being too greedy you can only have one or the other do you choose to leave amelia alone and then have her suffer her her issues or are you gonna go save your friends or let them die yeah and i think and, that ties directly and, 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 into like how roswell couldn't save echidna for whatever right. reason yeah i feel like so. i feel like with beatrice still being alive and echidna dying i feel like he had to sacrifice uh, one of them, either Beatrice or Echidna, and then he chose to save uh, Beatrice because of something Echidna said or whatever, and then she was left there as a decoy so Roswell and Beatrice can get away. Um, so I'm, I'm assuming he's going to put Subaru to the... He's trying to put Subaru to the same uh, situation, but Subaru's, you know, being greedy, and he's going to try to save everybody and have a happy ending. So... Again? I oh. believe that's what it is. Okay, There's yeah. A, I have a, then... oh, sorry, go ahead, David. Uh, I was just saying, I was just tie it back to like, you know, everyone says like Satelia killed all the witches. So then I guess this is part of like, part of the real the real thing that happens like maybe then like they just died separate in separate occasions. And I guess if if the melancholy guy killed a cat now, then it's you know we're getting we're getting to the real truth instead of what people think yeah. is the truth. So yeah, it's possible. No, 
very valid. Um, but... just a just a random thought. Like, it's not like really, it's not part of like the current story. It was more of like, what was um, I, I'm kind of backing like a lot of people online where basically the opening they had last episode was just hella spoilers. I don't remember anything from the opening though. I just remember oh. the song. But it's like, what was the point of like throwing it in there and then just not having the opening this week again? <laughs> yeah. Like, like why? They could have just waited longer. Like, it's just, I don't know why you just throw like, it in. I, I feel like the whole excuse about spoilers, I don't think it's the real reason. I think they really just try and get as much as they can air time. Yeah. Like, it was just, I, you, I feel like you're trying to, yeah. It was just so weird. openings are like a minute and 30 seconds long. So yeah. we yeah. need an extra yeah. minute and 30 seconds to kind of figure out. Get what, more lore and right. yeah. fill in the blanks. I feel like there's probably some, you know, contractual obligation where, you know, the artists that made the song for this season as well, they're just like, hey, we need Maybe. to get this out here, sell, you know, some song. Yeah, sell, yeah that's so. me too. I checked it. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the full version. That would be yeah. whack, you know, if you had an artist create a song for your series and then they never show it the entire time. You're like, oh, <laughs> yeah. great. It's I'm like, glad I did yeah. this collaboration with you. It's like, oh, yeah, but, by the way, okay. download the download the the soundtrack for the anime. It'll be yeah, there. And every, and every <laughs> like, we've never heard it. <laughs> The light, the light novels. It's by it's by Kadokawa. So again, the big like the big publishing company in Japan that makes all the light novels. Which, by the way, is also the the, the company that uh, sponsors Trash Taste. So, oh nice, I guess. Yeah. Shout out Kadokawa. So, but but they they <laughs> they, 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 they <laughs> yes. <laughs> but they um yeah they they have all the big light novels. They do like the basically reason why there's so much isekai is because they all their light novels are isekais now because they're. Of course, there. of course. Yeah. I suppose. Anyway, oh, they also own, they also bought from software a while ago. It was just random, but it's that's how big of a company they are. They're a big media company. Gotcha. But back to three zero. Yes. Um, well, I'm done with three zero. Yeah. <laughs> we we need we need answers. That's that's basically it. It's yes. time for the answer arc. Yeah. You know, in Higurashi sense. Yeah. Yes. No, yes. no, it's just, no answers. Time to cut questions. them branches off. God damn it. <laughs> Man, it just sounds like like the whole like mansion part of the fight of like Elsa or whatever. It's just gotta be like the final episode, the way that we're going. Like, I I don't, I don't remember anything that's happening. Honestly, yeah, I think yeah, from like last week or two weeks before they showed. Um, oh my god, him! What's the beast guy's name again? Garfield. Garfield. They show Garfield fighting the one assassin girl in the mansion. So it's like, Spoiler. Yeah. why did you they show us two weeks ago? Like as if that was the preview for this week, and then. We're completely going back into like a flashback, <laughs> you know, like focus. It's like, no, I you know. want to say that opening was there to let you know what you're gonna get this season, and I think that mansion is all you're gonna get. Like they're gonna make, I it I... you're gonna have that giant fight, and then once they, yeah. save everyone, that's gonna be it for the season. I still think I still buy Justin's explanation. They just spent money, and yeah. Iris wants it to be shown. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'll follow that one. That sounds right. I man. And I suppose, but uh, gotta make them sales one way or another. Right. But I can see, I can see both ways. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, we're not getting anywhere. <laughs> it's gonna be a eight season plus long show. Well, at this rate. I and I'm season... okay with that actually. Yeah, I'm fine with that too. Oh well, yeah. You know? I I I've been enjoying this show this whole time. So yeah. But um, hopefully season three doesn't take four years. Actually, well, because I felt like I heard uh, season one they actually adopted a lot of the light novels by then. So. I hope that's not why I took so long for season two to come out. Because then we were being a long time uh, with season three to come out. Yeah. The only yeah. problem. The only grab I have the show is that you don't get answers. And it's starting to piss me off a little bit because <laughs> we get no closure whatsoever. We're reaching, so, like, it's like because we're so, like, we're in so many episodes deep that, like, you got, like, pick up, pick it up. Like, like we're, we're way past, like, like, like you going to get that like uh excuse like you know first season like we're in second season now so you got you got to pick it up yeah we just got to, i feel like so much happened in the first season as well like we didn't to kind of our point we didn't get a whole lot of answers at the end of the day like if you really think about it it was still a first lot season of, like, was many questions I, I just, but <laughs> it was really just like the feel of like the the loop but like season two like this season like or part, especially part two like they're saying you can't use that anymore subaru so yeah. Yeah. We don't feel like the emotional impact of like, like relooping like we used to do. I mean, it still feels like we're on day one to uh, of season two, <laughs> so that's also a thing. In a sense, yeah. Yeah. It's agreed. Played. Agreed. So we shall see. I, I need I need All progress, right. guys. I need closure. All right. No. No more of this shit. You're, no the wrong, more of you're watching the wrong show, sir. <laughs> watching the wrong show. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna drop it. <laughs> yep. Fuck this show. No, oh my god. I'm done. All right. I think. 
All right. With that, that's going to be it for V0.